thankfully today was much calmer. We've got a lot of cleanup to do. I know some of you still don't have power. It was a wild day yesterday, so we're thankful for this. Some cumulus clouds mixed in with our Carolina blue sky. Temperatures weren't cool, even though a cold front has moved through today. About 90 degrees, but this is what the storms did to the Carolinas yesterday. One of the wildest storm systems we've ever had. It wasn't a big tornado outbreak like we had 15 years ago. It was just some strong storms that were moving 50 miles an hour, bringing wind gusts between 50 and 70 miles per hour. So most of the storm damage reports you see are wind damage reports. We only had one tornado in North Carolina. That was a weak one just north of Charlotte. So, I mean, wind is wind. Tornadoes, the wind swirls. Thunderstorm wind, it's straight line. It impacts a lot more people, as we can see here behind us. We've got another good day tomorrow before rain returns on Thursday. And the humidity is going to get lower tonight. So tonight's going to be kind of comfortable. Many of us have already dropped into the 80s. I mean, it's low 80s up in Franklin County. You guys out in Pittsburgh, it's 87. Most of us here in Wake County, mid to upper 80s, while down in the Sand Hills, still holding on to about 90 degrees, including 91 in Fayetteville. So as we go hour by hour tonight, again, cold fronts through humidity will be lower and therefore our temperatures will be lower 80 degrees at 8 will turn to 76 at 10 we could see a sprinkle overnight that's why we've got those 10 percenters in there overnight you probably won't even hear it on the roof and by morning it's gone as we start off around 68 degrees um, i said this earlier but i know some of you still on summer break sleeping in as late as humanly possible might be worth getting up early tomorrow to enjoy those 60s because they're not going to be around all week. So there's our front. It has moved through. High pressure behind it's going to give us one more dry day tomorrow. But that will not be the case all week. We've got wet weather and a severe chance returning Thursday. So tomorrow's kind of a piece of cake. Let's kind of fly through from early tomorrow morning, Wednesday through the afternoon. You can see not a whole lot going on. Lots of sunshine, a few clouds late in the day Wednesday. Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Also not much going on. Thursday will start with some clouds, but no rain. The rain is back to the west for the morning commute. Mid-morning, though, another fast-moving system. That rain is on our doorstep by 9 a.m. Late morning through lunchtime, it passes through. Widespread, scattered showers, thunderstorms, yes, maybe even a chance of severe weather, but it's not an all-day thing. Fast moving means it's out of here by the middle of the afternoon and the evening. But when it does come through on Thursday, it carries with it a marginal risk of severe weather. So that's a level one damaging wind. There that is again is our main threat. Yesterday we were level three. Thursday we're level one. So it's totally different, but still we'll stay weather aware and keep an eye on it for Thursday. In the meantime, as we look at your extended forecast, we're dry and back up to 90 tomorrow, but with comfortable humidity. There's our 60% chance of rain for Thursday, 20% chance on Friday, so mostly dry. Fireworks for the Mudcats game Friday night out in Zebulon should be good to go. It'll be a hot weekend, 93 and 94 Saturday and Sunday, and then I hope you like that because your exclusive 10-day forecast has all 90s all the time. Angelette's favorite kind of radio station. Highs in the mid to low 90s next week, overnight lows in the 70s so actually like the 80s better but are right. you in 80s? Like 80s and you're still what 40s and 50s 